Hey, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a Hyoka empath, and I just like to share these little talks on the way I feel about things. Sharing is caring, and I surely do. It's a little cold where I am, as you can see with my garb. <laughs> I got my outdoor wear on, <laughs> on indoor. Tucker's snuggled in back there. We got Luna in here. Stanley's by his light. Oh, he left. It's stretching. Hi, Stanley. Kitty, kitty, meow, meow. Kitty, kitty. He's kind of annoyed with me, I guess. I don't think he's mad. He likes the dog food. I went back to the dog's food that they ate before my life turned upside down. <laughs> and he likes the dog food. So I keep putting cat food in there. He don't like it. He's not eating it. He's trying to get in the closet where the dog food is. Store it in a bin in there. It's just easier. I'm big on convenience and they like to eat real early. <laughs> so, uh, we all got our our, our uh, uh, patterns down pretty much. Mom's is kind of, she just woke up. It's almost quarter to ten. She slept in. It's cold though, so when she sleeps in, she's got the electric blanket. But man, she sleeps harder than I have freaking seen anyone sleep I mean I've gone in before and have like like looked because she, it's weird she sleeps she just likes to block out all the light so she sleeps with the blanket over her head so it looks like she's freaking a little entombed lady and I've gone in there and she's so still that she don't move for hours because I know that's when our spirit goes out wanders out ventures out into higher dimensions. That's how she knows so much, man. She freaking looks at everything freaking from a higher perspective than I do. And I look at things from a pretty high freaking perspective. I just have a different collection of verification with my history, with my war, with me going out into the world and my military background and, and education and stuff like that. So I can just help verify more of what she just knows. That's what knowing is. You know, I look at information. Sorry, Benzo. Sorry, buddy. I look at information and data is just light. It's just, you know, packets of, you know, thoughts and ideas. And that's why, you know, and so, but light is found inside us too. And when, so when we close down and med get in a meditate state, we tap into the light. Uh, that information source, that data source, we plug into that data form, that server, you know, of whatever vibrational frequency we happen to match based on our own spiritual human condition, you know, by what we eat, by what we listen to, by what we watch, by what we love, if we love, if we, you know, if we avoid love, if we, um, uh, withhold love, you know, I've been so, this is the time to go within and I have been micro, look, micro inspecting my whole being, you know, I haven't really had much else to do at this time, you know, or you remember said, go to work. No, <laughs> universe said, no, not right now. Now's your time for introspection. Three years I've been doing this, you know, I was talking to my, my father figure, dad type guy yesterday and I was just like you know I'm I'm the freaking provider I'm the one that goes out and works I'm the one that you know that with the ideas and I'm the one that the mover and the shaker in a freaking integritous manner not a freaking shady way I'm the one that has you know that so being made to be quiet and go within and reflect and just learn self-mastery which ain't nothing ain't a hundred percent. So I, you know, cause I'm going to change all the time anyway. That's what the human spirit is. The spirit is made to do. We just, cause the human soul sack just goes along for the ride. So I've been made to go within and it's just like my character. I know all of them. I know them all. I know when they come up, you know, I know when I freaking react instead of respond that it's coming from a place of fear because when I do it in anger, it's all derives from fear. You know, the, the thing of it is, this is how it is for more people than not. But more people don't want you to know. Because if you if you read the white writing on the wall, the wall might come down. Boundaries are important for safety. I understand. I understand. 
But what I got to look at it as a whole from a higher perspective, if somebody's not respecting any boundary, I mean, a boundary, they're not going to respect any, you know, and people I have come across in my life for whatever reason, it's been like they have boundaries, you know, and I get over stuff. I get over most everything everything you know it's just my personality or past it I get through things like I don't like that terminology I get over because I don't like it when people say get over it you don't know most of the time you know when I've gotten through things you know being being raped as a baby I got through that you know watching the abuse put upon my mother I got through that the abuse that it put upon on me I got through that you know all my mom's health stuff when she had a stroke uh, when I was 15 she was 38 you know her her other stuff that I have I have gone with her and to take care of her and make sure that she's all right you know it's 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 all that stuff and I know that this time that um, these are all the stuff that I have gotten through and now more and more people are coming into um, hurts and pains and things that they have to get through you know um, I look at I say often say that I am an orphan with parents is something that I say it's because my parents were didn't know how to be the parents that I needed they could be the people that they knew how to be but it wasn't what I needed and I'm not mad about it. Nobody can. Nobody has to date. But what I got to do is I got to figure out and learn and pro be the sole provider of my own comfort and give myself everything that I needed. So I don't have to get it from other people. The thing of it is, is we still are human beings and the human experience is we are communal beings. We, and we need other people. We need other people to verify, you know, just sometimes that, hey, it'll be okay. We need to hear that from other people. Because, I mean, you could tell yourself that all day long, all day long, but it gets exhausting. Sometimes you need other people to help you fill your cup. Fill your cup so you can go out and pour it out to everyone else, you know. I have a pretty strong source. I get tired too, you know. That's why I'm trying to find friends. That's why I'm trying to find a community. That's why I'm trying to build a community of people that, you know, not just on not just on the interwebs, but tangible in the 3D real life, you know. And um, food tastes better when you share it with people, you know. Uh, anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about magic and how I look about magic. I look at so everything is magic, but the, any and but there's also dark magic. So anything, I look at dark magic as anything manipulative. And I can tap tap into do it too. I'm a, I can be a sweet talker. That's why I always come forward and direct because I can be a sweet talker. You know, and I don't want to come from that place because I want the person that I am communicating with to have all the information that they need so that they can honestly assess an outcome that's going to be both good for them and me. You know, and when I try and only get my way, then that ain't fair to both people and that's bad karma. And this is all the stuff that's coming out is the withholder and all that stuff you know people are becoming more self-aware a lot of people aren't liking what they see so as i look at dark magic is 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 when you use anything to take to to change somebody's mind and try and tamper with their free will that's why i don't do i don't believe in freaking love potions and things like that if they want to be in love with you you will be the same vibrational match and they will be in life. That's manipulation. It's all that stuff. You know, that's all anything to feed the ego. I ain't in it. I've been in it for that in previous incarnations. That ain't the life I'm living now. And we can have previous incarnations in this lifetime too, you know. We can because I am living an entirely different life in 2020 that I was living in 2016 prior to August. Completely different, you know. I don't even look the same. I mean, my face is the same, but anyway. So just keep things above board now, 
you know? This is not the time to be freaking being shady and freaking trying to craft the art of the deal and all that freaking nonsense, you know? People need to come. People want direct. I'm so freaking annoyed with Netflix. For these big companies, they change stuff all the time and they think that they're they're doing something good. Now freaking, you gotta hit the button to make the next episode play on Netflix after every episode, and they don't think about the person that with a with the memory lapse, with the with recall, you know that 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 will sit in a chair and wait for it to preload because that's what it always did before. You guys don't care about them, you know. Not everybody is into progress, and and freaking the a lot of us. I mean, I, I've been in IT for years, and I recognize everyone that wants the big microphone and wants the studio in the back. All that's egoic crap, you know? You can say the same stuff in a place where you don't have to make people pay for your ego, and that's the difference between me and freaking, well, most anybody else I see out there. But people are changing, you know? There's other There's people like me in other ways, but... Anyway, I'm running my mouth too long. That's that's all I got. I hope you have a rad day. Peace.